Hey, everybody, Crabbed Cast with you tonight. Hey, Bubba the Dog, Champion Chicken Catcher. This is one of our uh, top selling t shirts. Get it at crabbedcast.com. Uh, under 30 bucks, I will ship it to your house. And I'm telling you, this is so nice. I've washed this probably about 10 times, and it's just super soft, keeps its size. It's fantastic. All right, we're going to talk about tire tracks again tonight. And I have some very special, never seen before footage. You've never seen this footage before of Moselle. We're going to prove once again, once again, we're going to prove some stuff about the tire tracks. All right, I've always talked and said that the two killers, one, stay behind with the guns. These are bloody, not going out on that road. Somebody sees them with full of blood. It's going to be suspicious. One guy drives over, to, walks over, runs, whatever, to, uh, I always want to call it Swamp Cross Road, but it's Cross Swamp Road. Or somewhere near there, right? And that took about maybe 10 minutes in the dark, uh, kind of run walking. Got it? Took him a minute to get back. Uh, and then he came flying into the back end of Moselle Road, and he went and picked up his buddy who was sitting there waiting. Remember, Sled, according to Maggie's phone, was moving 59 steps between 854 and 857, somewhere around there, and there it sat. Uh, and we're going to go over those 59 steps in this video that you've never seen before. I'm not going to talk. I want you to listen to the person that's walking and listen to them, and you can hear the steps. Count the steps, and at the end of the video, you're going to see where they are. Then I'm going to come back for just a second, and then we're going to talk, and we're going to see what the Carlton County Sheriff said on his body cam the night of the murders. Ready? Whoa! Boo! How about that? Never seen before video. Anywhere. Um, this person walked 59 steps from Maggie's body uh, and landed, and excuse me, right in the middle of the road that is the back entrance exit out of Moselle. And they sat there and waited. Must have been a long wait. I don't know what was going through your mind. Probably fear. Uh, but you had the guns. So if Alec came, you had to do what you had to do. But between 8.53.15 and 8.55.32, right there, is when Maggie's phone took 59 steps. That's what happened. So it was a little bit slower, obviously, uh, than what that was. But that's, that, that video shows you where 59 steps from Maggie's body ends. Uh, and at 9.05.54, excuse me, 9.05.44, Maggie's backlight goes on. Well, as I said, it took about 10 minutes to get to Cross Swamp Road by foot from the back of Moselle. And if they left around 8.55.32, that took them around 10 or 12 minutes to get there and drive back. And when he pulls in at 9.05.44, he jumps into the truck, Maggie's backlight goes on, they go out 6.0... 6.0... Excuse me, 9.06.30, they throw it out on the side of Moselle Road, 9.07, the backlight goes off forever. Here's Carlton County Sheriff. Ready? Handle that part or not? I see uh, quite a few tire tracks in here. Were any of these you going in and out? Um, no, I came in here and I left one time and I came back. Okay. <clears throat> but the rest of them, maybe... Okay. From earlier, but okay. only two were mine. Did you go out this way at all? No. No, it's right. Uh, 
Hey, hey, stay, stay here, stay here, stay here. Got a whole bunch of stuff right there. I don't want to stir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was trying to close the door here so we can kind of get around that way. Your best way is probably going to be back through those rocks because we can't get any tracks off those rocks. Anymore. I'll go, we'll go back around the other way we just came. Okay. Thank you. I mean, everything matches up. Uh, let's go through it. See how many things we have. What do we have? Prosecution sled said between 853.15 and 855.32, Maggie's phone took 59 steps. Okay? I've always said that the 59 steps were away from the bodies. And on Google Maps, I even put it down somewhere close to that. But this video that is said to us, this video proves that from Maggie's body, 59 steps. I don't know how tall this person is, how long her legs are, but 59 steps puts them right smack dab in the road that goes out of Moselle Road, the back entrance. So we know that 853 to 855, that that's confirmed. It's confirmed 59 steps. The sheriff and many other sheriffs that came along that night, besides Sled, were very concerned about the tire tracks. And you heard them at the end there. Can't really check in the gravel, but go check over here in the grass, right? So the sheriff is doing this with his, you know, with his uh, flashlight, wanting to see the tire tracks that go out. And I said, at 905.44, that's when the truck comes flying in from Cross Swamp Road, right? Comes in, 905.44, he picks Maggie's phone up. He picks the guns up, throws them in the back of the truck, takes her phone, jumps in the truck. They're gone. 15 seconds. 15 seconds all it took from Maggie, well, from where they were, those 59 steps in that road, back out from where they just came. Then they hit Moselle Road. And from Moselle Road, we've done the experiment. Now we're at four. We've done the experiment that it takes 30 seconds for Moselle Road to get down to where Maggie's phone was found on, on the side of the road, on the right-hand side of the road, at 9.06.30. And at 9.07, her backlight goes out forever. That's what, four, five things? I mean, it all matches up. And not like within a couple of minutes or two, within seconds, people, within absolute seconds. So, I mean, listen, again, I'm going to tell you, Alex, my opinion, not a great guy. Did some bad stuff besides these murders, which he didn't do, um, allegedly. But having said that, he's out of the circle for me. I mean, he's so far out of the circle. So, when are you going to believe? Like, just this alone, I've proved four or five different things down to the second. And then you add in Alec pulling out of Moselle Road when he pulled out, and how long it took for him to get at his front entrance, and that was down to the second. Everything the guy has said about that night has been the truth. Now, you're going to say, well, you lied about being down at the kennels. Well, he didn't tell them he was at the kennels. It's a little different, but he didn't do it, and uh, you need to believe. So, bubba the dough. Get it, crop and cast. Crop and cast. Go. See you.